Here in Las Vegas, a company called Bigelow Aerospace is developing habitats that could soon be snapped up for research in space. Unlike existing spacecraft, the modules will expand to their full size once they're in orbit. Two prototypes have already been launched and now they're being scaled up. What's being worked on right now in Las Vegas is the Sundancer, and this is this first model you see here. Uh, we will launch the Sundancer first, deploy it, test it out, and then the next launch will be these two pieces, which is a combined node and propulsion bus. The node serves the same purpose as the Unity node and the ISS and allows for additional docking of spacecraft and modules. These space stations are a lot more spacious than existing spacecraft. Two modules will provide more room than the whole International Space Station. Since they only reach their full volume in space, they should be easier to launch too. I think the best analogy is to compare it to almost a tent-like technology where it can be compacted in rocket fairing so it's very small and then hitting orbit it will be deployed. The length always remains the same but the diameter increases dramatically. You can think of it as going from a pencil to a Coke can after expansion. The idea seems practical, but is it safe to live in a fabric spacecraft? According to Gold, his shell is a better option than one made of metal. We have done side-by-side -side testing where we take uh, our micrometeorite orbital debris layer and our Kevlar-like system and test it directly next to ISS outer shell. And ballistics will actually go through the ISS outer layer and stop about midway through ours. Think of it as a bulletproof vest in space that also gives you good protection from radiation. Gold and his team are confident that their stations will hold up in space, but they still need to develop capsules that will transport people to and from the spacecraft. Luckily, a recent grant will help them do just that. The Big Aerospace Boeing team has received an award from NASA to begin work on a commercial crew capsule, and our hopes is that by later in the year, uh, we will receive the green light to proceed with a full-on program, leaving to actual hardware in about three to four years. With President Obama's recent decision to rely more on commercial companies for space travel, Bigelow now looks perfectly poised to stake its claim in orbit.